Hello, today I'm going to show you which fields are available in Microsoft Project for the web. I created one simple project, as you can see, and I have here fields. So I have here name, quick look, which I don't need for now, but I will uh, let it stay here because I will explain it later. Assign to is when you want to assign a task to someone, then you should use this field. And how to assign a task to someone will be topic for one of my next blog post. Duration obviously is how long should be duration of specific task. Depends on, I showed you in my previous video, is to uh, uh, which uh, task is predecessor. So for task two, predecessor is task one. For task three, task two, etc., etc. And I have here add column. So let's see which columns are available. First of all, you can see here new field. This should be used when you want to create your own custom field. But for now on, I will skip it because this will be a topic of my next blog post. Percentage of complete is, let's see, which, how, how much is one task completed? So I, if I go here and if I click on this task, I can just put, let's say, 100%, 100%. And then when I hit enter, you will see that it, this bar will be, uh, be fulfilled. If I want to, let's say, mark task two as 50% completed, then I will hit 50 and you will see accordingly this bar is fulfilled. And notice then when task is 100% completed, it has check mark here, which, which means it's complete. And also it has this line over the name, so it can uh, it shows you that it is completed. Another way to make a task completed is just to click here, let's say here on a checkbox, and I will see it is 100% uh, completed. But if I uncheck it, it will go back to zero. So don't forget, if you put 50 here, for example, and then you decide that this task is fulfilled, so 100%, uh, sorry, it's 100% uh, uh, done. And if you click here, it will be marked 100%. But if you unchecked here, you will not get back this 50%, so you should do it manually. Okay, this is about percentage of complete. Now, let's say effort, effort, effort completed, and effort remaining is about how many hours are uh, uh, should be uh, done, how many hours remains, and how many hours are completed. So I will put here effort, let's say that this effort, I will now say that this is 0% once again. And when I plan, I can say here that for this task, I need eight hours, but the, for this task, I need, let's say 100 hours or 120 hours. You can see when you put an effort, then though that effort is not is not related to uh, 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 to duration field. Why? Because default type of tasks task type is fixed duration. So I can put here, let's say, one thousand hours. Nothing will uh, change in duration. So let me say here that I need thirty-two hours. And this is about effort. If I here want to choose effort, effort completed and effort remaining, I can say here that I fulfill four hours, okay? 
and it will calculate that this is 50%. But if I here say that it is, let's say, 8 hours, it will be 25%. Percentage completed is calculated according to effort and effort completed. So if I complete 8 hours of my 32 hours, which must be completed to make a task 100% done, then the percentage of completedness is 25%. Why? Because 8 hours is 25% of 32 hours, and you can see effort remaining. Can I change effort remaining? Of course I can. I can say, for example, no, no, no. I planned that 32 hours will be enough. I worked 8 hours, but I need another, not 24 hours, but 40 hours. So, if I put 40 hours, it means that I will need to work uh, uh, 40 hours uh, 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 more to complete this task. Okay, now, now we have, have here the uh, depends after. Depends after is, as you can see here, depends on is predecessor, depends after is successor. So, you can see here on my task 2, for example, that it depends on task 1, but task 3 depends on task... Ta uh, uh, task 3 depends on task 2, but the, uh, this task, let's say task uh, uh, 3, also uh, depends on task 5. So it means that milestone depends on this task. So depends on is basically predecessor and depends after is successor. If you're familiar with project for uh, project desktop, you will understand what I'm saying. So basically, let me uh, uh, explain a little bit further. Task 4. It depends on task which is called milestone one. Okay, five here. This is relationship. Task five is here, milestone one. But task but with name eight, uh, with uh, number eight, so task five depends on this task. So this is successor. Okay. And let's go a little bit further. What, what is here? Now we have here bucket. Bucket will be bucket one for all uh, uh, tasks. Why? Because you are not familiar already with buckets, which are going to be uh, uh, explained when I'm going to explain about boards. But for now, and for now on, it doesn't matter what does it mean. I just showed you that it exists. And then we have start and finish. What is start and finish? Start and finish means that which is start date or which is end date. So let's say that, for example, my project, you see that it will start at June 20th, and today is June 20th. But if I change this, let's say to last week, to let's say Monday 12th, and if I go here, I will see everything will be changed. Start dates and uh, end dates are going to be changed, and they are changed accordingly to my start date, uh, project start date. And you will see when the finish date is red, it means that your task is late. So if you hover your mouse here, you will see the, that the task is late. If I change now again my project start date to today, okay, which is 20th, you will see that this task is not late uh, uh, anymore, but you have it in, let's say, it is yellow. It means it should be finished today. 
And if you come back tomorrow, you will see, and you do, do not complete this task until tomorrow, it will be uh, marked red as late task. And one thing more, outline number, it, it is something like VBS, also known as work breakdown structure. So basically, this is, let me, let me show you, summary is task 1, task 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1.4. This is task 2, uh, uh, this is group 2, and this is basically outline number is VBS. Now, if I want to change the structure of those fields, so I will say I don't need quick look here, I will hide it. I don't need assign to, I will hide it. But after duration, I want to see effort. What can I do? I will put my mouse here, I will click on it, and I will drag it here. And what I will have, duration, effort depends on and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say that I want duration, effort, start, finish, and let's say that I want my outline number all the way here, okay? So this is which make more sense for my project, for me as a project manager. So I put outline number as a first column, then name, then duration, etc., etc. Nevertheless, I can go here and I can say, oh, this is too wide. This is too wide. Okay, so I can do whatever I want. What will happen if I go back? And if I want to go back to my project, which is here on my recent project, I will have those structure, this structure saved. So this is basically the fields which can be found in Microsoft Project for the Web as default. Let me show you again. It is outline number, which show you the structure, the VBS, name the task or summary or milestone name, duration, what is duration of each and every task, effort, how much hour should be spent before this uh, task is done, when it should be started, when it should be finished, what are dependency, so th those are predecessors, Depends after our successor, so on which task uh, uh, is uh, 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 this task uh, depend on, and uh, uh, this is depend on, and depend after, as I explained, this, uh, uh, which task depends on this particular task, for example, task 3, then percentage of complete, how much is this task completed, how how many hours are completed effort completed how many hours are remaining and that's basically it in my next uh, uh, video i will show you how you can create your own uh, 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 field uh, to uh, to make your project uh, more effective and uh, it depends on what you need in your project. And for that, you should wait for my next video. Until then, thank you very much and have a nice day.